Access your files anywhere with Dropbox today in App Judgment. This episode of App Judgment is brought to you by Verizon Droid Apps. Welcome to App Judgment, Revision 3's mobile phone application review show. My name is Ron Richards, and one of the applications I use online the most, and one that I've dreamt of a mobile app to use it with, is Dropbox. Dropbox is a web app that allows you to store files online, as well as share your files with your friends and access their files. It's great for storing and sharing media and documents, and it's especially great for collaborating with coworkers when you're not in the same physical place. And now my dreams have come true, now that Dropbox has come to the Android platform after already being available for the iPhone and Blackberry. Dropbox is a free app in the Android marketplace and was developed by the people behind the Dropbox website, so you're sure to have that guaranteed compatibility with your Dropbox account. After installing the app, once you open it, you get presented with a big fancy logo and the option to log into your existing account or to register a new account. I love that you can sign up directly from the app and just start using it. Once you've logged in, you'll see a list of folders that you have access to. Each folder has a little icon next to it. The folder with the little person is a folder owned by one of your friends that you have shared access to. A folder with no icon is one of your folders, and the folder with a little photo on it is associated with photos. Go figure. Just tap on a folder and you move into the contents of that folder. Here you get another clean list of subfolders and files. You can navigate into the subfolders and use the back button to back out. Once you find a file, just tap on it and you can access it. Dropbox will automatically download it and then your phone will launch whatever the associated application is. So here I've got a Word document and tapping on it prompts me to open it with documents to go. Opening a JPEG opens the file in the gallery. If you long tap on a file name, you're presented with some options like opening the file or copying, emailing, or sharing a link to the file. Super handy. Let's take a look at how Dropbox handles media and uploading files after this word from Verizon Droid Apps. Droid does apps. Verizon Droid apps have access to every tool the phone has, including the compass, GPS, accelerometer, video player, image capture, etc. The power of the Droid apps allows them to run in the background for multitasking and give background notifications. Verizon's dominant network and 3G coverage create an unparalleled mobile data solution to keep you connected to the web and allow you to run heavy, data-rich features anywhere at any time. And with the ever-expanding Android market, you'll always be able to quickly download the apps you need to get the most out of your Droid. Check out DroidDuds.com. Accessing all your files is great, but once you add media to the mix, Dropbox gets that much better. As I mentioned, Dropbox is great for storing large media files like video and audio, but given that you're on your phone and victim to various rates of download speeds, you may not want to have to download the whole file and wait around for it, so Dropbox has a streaming option. Just tap on an audio file and the audio begins to stream to you, which makes it much easier and faster to hear the music. You can also long tap on the file and choose to download the files to your phone if you'd prefer that. Downloading files from your Dropbox isn't the only feature of this app. You can also upload files from your phone. Tap Menu and then Upload, and you're presented with a menu of options. You can take a photo to be uploaded or import an existing picture from your phone. Same thing with video and audio, and you can upload a text file. That's it though? What if I created a Word doc with my word processor and I wanted to upload that? Or what if I downloaded a PDF from the web from an email and I wanted to store that on my Dropbox? This is my only disappointment in what's a great app. Let's quickly review. If you've got a Dropbox account on the web, you can access your folders and files as well as your friends that you're sharing with. It's super easy to download the files to your phone, and media streaming is a neat feature. But again, the limiting of upload options was disappointing. Download this app. Really, there's no reason not to download this app unless you don't like being able to access your files from anywhere. And if that's the case, well, then I can't really help you. But if you do like to make your phone even more useful, then definitely download Dropbox and increase your file storage capacity by gigs. Are there other cool file storage apps out there? Email me at appjudgment or revision3.com and let me know. Check us out on the internet at Facebook, Twitter, or YouTube. And you can always find previous episodes and ways to subscribe at revision3.com slash appjudgment. I'm Ron Richards, this is App Judgment, and all these songs are legal, honest. <laughs>